Hello friends. Namaste. Welcome to my channel Home School Fun. In this video I will discuss and I'll show you about all the books that can give you knowledge with fun uh, for kids of all ages like from one year to seven years. I'll cover the books that can be read at each age. So do stay with me till the end of the video and let's start this video. So first is uh, the interactive books that can be given to the kids like around 1.5 to 2 years of age. You can start with that and with that first one I would give this interactive books. They are hard bound so that kids don't break them easily and they are very interactive. You can use them, they can get some knowledge about numbers, about uh, uh, activity is there of looping this in the same way like this you have to lace them and there are numbers inside so how many laces you have done like that. So these interactive books are very good for kids to uh, give them interest in books, right? See. There are these things which can come out, pop up things and they can use their imaginations of how to make it, what to use it, where to use it. All that skills can be introduced in this book. Likewise, this book. Very, very fun book which gives uh, knowledge about all the alphabets and many, many words can be learned about each alphabet with this. So a very good book is this dress up book. Then one fun more book which can, these books are very interesting and to be introduced in the primary ages is because that will develop their interest in books which will stay for life. So this fun mix and match books, very interesting books. So do get these type of books which we love, mix and match. And one more to add in this concept is Menzi. There is a series and lots and lots of books available on Maisie. Maisies are really good books and very interactive. They give such pop-up visuals. They develop your interactive skills, your hand-eye coordination, your imaginative powers, life skills. Lots and lots to learn from the Maisie. See, this is a book about weather which they will learn everything in this book. So do go for Maisie and there are these books, soft books like this which are very popular and very known. So these books are very good. So but these are quite expensive. So I had bought this one and then once the kid grew up, then what to do with this book? So I redid it. I remade this with the felt papers and for the numbers, knowing the numbers and everything I redid it according to the child's wish. See, I made a toothbrush and toothpaste for the hippo to brush like this. So these books very interactive. They can't tear this. They can't even they don't break by throwing them. So these are very good for the little ones. You can make them easily. And the detailed video about this is on my Instagram handle. Down there is the link. So do check it out about how and what is this book about. So this is the tic-tac-toe you can play on this reusable so you save paper and play again and again so these are hand puppets all handmade now let's see about the kids age around two and a half plus kids who can who are starting to read and visually uh, appealing books there are these books which are really nice of Ox Oxford Press. They are really interesting. They give you lots of visually mm, appealing images that develops the kids interest in reading. So these are really very fine books. They have a variety of topics that they cover. See, you can choose so that develops their thinking skill about their decision making power. Then there's this whole lot of youth series that I have got about read at home books. 
these are one one line books which helps the kids to read and develop some knowledge about life like all the ideas about how do we go picnic how do we save ourselves how do we say come out from any crisis and very in a very fun way so these are one one line books that can be read easily by the kids so do get this this read em home collection they come in lots of varieties of like one liners two liners books and in a b c d group so i've got a huge collection of that books and then comes this curious george series that's really fun because they give you introduction to all the alphabets and their use phonetic use in a very fun way so that's very nice book again how to write that how to make the curves and everything and then it's a little advance about the same series is this curious george which has a little two two line uh sentences in each page now let's see about the kids who are on 3 and a half or 3 3 and a half plus who have learned a little bit of sentence or words so they can enjoy this series of book of little princess this has got a huge variety and huge topics covered in there uh which gives a very beautiful illustrations in them and one liners which can be easily read by the kids so they really enjoy it that's my guarantee every kids like this little princess one then there is a series of topsy and tim they come in lots of varieties like soft bound hard cover uh, little ones the big ones there are lots of topsy and tim series and they are real fun kids favorite i am sure and they cover huge lots of topics like having a new baby and going to hospital and learning a new skill and going to swimming pool everything so they give you a lot of brief idea about things and the kids will learn lots of things with topsy and tim favorite two brother and sister story then the very very beautiful collection is this Mr Man series these are wonderful books i have like tons of books of them because my kids kids absolutely favorite is mr man so they are quite big enough but these are the ones which you can read you can read out to them and then once they become a confident readers they will again like to read over and over and over again these books these mr man are really funny and they give you such beautiful life lessons in a very simple way so it's real worth spending your precious money on this books because they are worth that's money that you spend on and they do come in the big ones also if you feel like these are very small letters for them and they can't do it but they are they are quite enough convenient but they also come in the big ones like this so you can even go for this one and if you want to have some little stories then there's a series by alka publications about the short stories about the indian tales these are ones that you can read it to them at bed times or of the free times so these are also the lovely ones confident readers or the or or the little less confident readers but they will enjoy these series of book which can be given into the section of around 4 and a half plus kids so for them i prefer is this megs series of books this megs lots of topics this is a little witch um named meg and she has lots of fun things that she do so this which who are scary are no more scary for the little ones they are friendly witches and that can make them feel good about these all the witch and witchcraft and these huge bold images and very big fonts give them or help them to become those confident readers so these are real fun and really nice books which we love then comes dora Dora whose favorite everybody's favorite this Dora series 
they are also real fun so they can develop their vocabulary with this reading this dora books and these problem solving skills that dora gives she's always solving some mystery out there so they will love this series so dora series is also good they have two three lines which can be read nicely by the little ones then one of our favorites again and many of you might be knowing is this harry and the dinosaurs so all the dinosaur fans uh, can just definitely go for them they give a lot of knowledge about all the dinosaurs in a very fun way very interesting way and these are penguin books so a little bit on the costlier sides and they come in hard bound covers and the soft bound covers too and they are really nice to read they give you a lot of knowledge about definitely dinosaurs but about the problem that they can come and they are such big big letters and big big words that they make you have a tongue twister pronouncing those names of the dinosaurs but they are fun then comes a series which are very beautiful and which are semi realistic is the series of charlie and lola the two brother and sister who where the sister usually makes a little mess or mistake and then the brother is there to cover up things and all that happens in this wonderful series of charlie and lola they are very interesting again and they come in bigger and the smaller sizes again so this book is about this charlie and lola the brother sisters right what i said and there are this images which there are few of the real images clubbed with the Uh, characters that are made and drawn with papers so they have this drawing skills can also be improved with this reality uh, given in the stories and they are real fun books that can help your kids to develop their language and imagination then comes this life skills books about this my first books of environment they give you all the knowledge about your being a responsible human of for the society like this you know they have huge topics covered about managing waste saving energy saving water saving animals like that huge lot of topics covered on the being a responsible citizen so there was the series coming of little einstein on tv those uh, tv series episodes were put down into the series of books like this and they come in soft covers and hard bounds and these series are really good and they are literally little einsteins solving mysteries and solving puzzles and giving information about all the places of the world to the different uh, uh, cultures of the world with different music lots and lots of things about the world culture so these series are also very nice they are quite big enough so you are um, those if they are not confident readers then you need to read it to them but these ones are also very nice so now let's discuss about the books that are kids favorite at the age of around 6 when they are quite confident reader they can read your, themselves So in India, the most famous and the most uh, lovable comic is Tinker. That's very much loved. That almost every kid has read, and even you have read. I have read, and now our kids are reading. But beyond that, there comes the series of A Day with. These are the series which is given with the famous people, the famous scientist, to famous author, to famous sportsman. they are giving uh, this knowledge about them and they show you in a very fun and interesting way about who were they what were they so they learn history a little bit of uh, biographies with this books that what did they do how did they do so they inspire them or or give you give them an imagination skills about how and what even we can do and what a person can do in their life and what people have done in their life So for that knowledge, these books are really long. Then comes the lovely series of this factivity books. Yeah, it's not activity; it's factivity books. They give you this cool chemistry, natural science. This incredible. This one is my and my kids' favorite. They give you so much of knowledge and information in a very simple way. 
and you get learn to so many things these are removable stickers and it's kind of a 3d ones sorry 2d ones which can be played with and give you all the information see this one is about spacecraft so all information about moon craft there are lots of stickers which are already done but they give it uh, they have comes with stickers and everything about the stars in space so real fun ones and these all collections are really nice about the activities and the fun science maths all those difficult subjects are covered in a very easy way in the fun way that's why it is factivity then then comes super interesting and super lovable mr wally this series of wally books beautiful series i think it's like it it can be used for not only 6 years kids or 7 years kids it's like from i guess 3 years to 99 years everybody would love and enjoy it yeah but at i guess a uh, little older ones will have a difficulty in it little bit because of finding things in this book every page every page has different types of images and different types of um uh, what do you call an activity going on and there is each and every character is made different everybody is doing something and what we need to do is find this guy wally this guy is to be found in this book this is wally and there his friends and his things are to be found in this book this one is wally and then you have to go and find it and there are activities going on and there are different subjects that are covered in this book so these are real fun when you are traveling you can use this books or when you are having a real bore time studying and everything and then you can enjoy this books and this what a huge amount of creativity this man has done in making this book that whole series beautiful series and they come in such huge huge books so you can easily see them find them and have fun with them most loved ones then the 7 plus kids would definitely love this wall dal is favorite for the knowledgeable and the interesting stories he binds and these comes in the short ones big ones and really hefty big ones also so depends on the child's interest and his uh, reading skills they come in the short stories or the even a like of a small novel type of stories and these ones are the small ones but it's fun and they have a little activities also inside to do with them they have stickers inside so roald dal is real fun and the most of most of most favorite comes is wimpy kid i guess everybody and everyone knows this and everyone should have a collection of this we have come we got, used to get it from the library so and then we started collecting it but these are the super fun this uh, story of a simple boy a very the neighborhood boy kind of a thing but his stories is adventures and made and written in such fun way such simple way like it's written in his a uh, notebook and some drawings done beautiful book must have book is wimpy kid collection i hope you like this i you, you liked our collection of books and about whatever little knowledge i have about books so i hope you liked it and give a like share subscribe and we'll see you next week and please do you if you have any queries any um questions about this books do give down in the comment section and see you next week bye bye